So since our first discussion here on The Chosen Life, Tom Brady, and that his kids miss him, well, uh, Tom's life is uh, spiraling out of control, apparently, and it's showing on the field. Like, what is up with Tom Brady, the greatest of all time, just another big loss the other, the other day? How is this possible? It is Tom freaking Brady. Like, is he unraveling? It seems like he's, like, aging before our eyes. Like, it looks like he aged 10 years in one day. Like, what's going on with him? Well, let's, let's bear in mind, his passer rating is 92. He's got eight touchdowns and one interception. He's not playing poorly. He's just not playing Tom Brady level football, right? Well, the guy's what, 45, 44, 45. That's young, man. Well, yeah. Well, sure. He He's at the point. Well, he's at the point where he's, he's slowing down. And on top of that, you've had an ungodly number of, of injuries with his, receiving core whether it be mike evans or godwin or now cameron Brait, you know he just doesn't have the weapons there that he's had in the past you know if you look at his year if, if you look at extrapolate out his numbers for the rest of the season here he's looking to throw he's probably in the 35 to 3700 yard range he's going to throw 20 touchdown passes and three picks that's pretty good for a 45 year old quarterback it's just not tom brady right I think all of us did not want to accept the fact that this was probably the year. Now, does it help to have all the other things going on in Tom Brady's life? I highly doubt it. But I don't think this is a, really a problem of, oh, I can't focus or whatever else. It's, I don't have the horses this year, and I'm freaking old. And you're just going to have to accept it, right? And he said the other day he has no intention of retiring at the end of the year. I'm like... Oh, okay. So does that absolutely mean that you're divorced now? Like things are absolutely over? Because if you're going to come out and say that, then it's 100%. She's just going to, I would think. Let's say the devil comes to Tom Brady and says, listen, Tom, we've had a good relationship up till now. I've given you all you've ever wanted for your soul. I'm going to give you now a choice. Either bring back Gronk or Giselle's going to be good with football and you're not getting divorced. Which one do you think Tom takes? I hope he takes Giselle. I think he's taking but Gronk. I think but I think he takes Gronk. I don't know. I just Gronk has given him how many rings and Giselle's given him one. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know enough about Tom Brady personally. You know, when we had this discussion a few weeks ago, I said I'm only viewing this from the lens of my own feelings towards my family and everything else. I don't know anything personally about Tom Brady and his beliefs or anything else like that. But at this point, if he plays again next year, what does that make you think about him as a person? It really, everybody, you know, has had nothing but wonderful things to say about this guy. What I mean, at what point is enough enough? At what point do you say, you know, even if you get divorced, you still have two, you have three kids. At what point do you say it's time for me to just step away? And, and and do this, right? At what point is football not as important as the other things when you can clearly make that choice? Wayne, I think he's throwing a Trojan horse up and I don't believe Tom Brady on this one. I'm not calling him a liar, but they came to him and said, are you thinking about mid-season retirement? If he's going to say, I'm retiring at the end of this year for sure, then I think he has to go through the retirement parties end of the season. Plus then he's, he's deflating his team and all the questions come up. If he tells him, oh, I'm no way I'm retiring then you know what? There's a lot of hope and everything else. And I think he's just trying to inflate everybody for the season and hoping Gronk will come out of retirement. But I don't think it's coming for him. And it's sounding really, really bad as far as from the divorce lawyer's end. And they can only talk about Kanye and Kim so much. And I think the media is having a field day with him. And I don't think he's liking that attention whatsoever. Yeah. So I'm really hoping they will be able to find a way to patch this up because we want the best for Tom and Giselle. And uh, not where it's headed, but it, it, according to the media, it ain't sounding so pretty.